Renee, uh, thanks for coming on the show. Eight interceptions last year, 53 tackles. Obviously, you handled your business, did what you had to do, and the Seattle Seahawks had a good season as a result of all of that. I guess what I'm asking is this. You talking smack after y'all beat the Redskins. You talk junk after you beat Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. You talking junk now to Darrell Revis, obviously in retaliation in your mind uh, to some things he may have said or may have alluded to. How good do you really believe you are because you got people out there looking at you and saying he's just talking smack how good do you believe you are well i believe my numbers speak for themselves i mean my tape speaks for myself for itself my tape is my resume that's that's what i leave it up to i mean you can say whatever you want skip can say whatever he wants but skip whenever you refer to me whenever you speak to me whenever you address me address address me as all pro stanford graduate because those are some accomplishments you'll never you can aspire to you will never accomplish you have never accomplished anything so, but um, those things are on my resume. Those are, those are what I've done. It's my second year in the NFL, going to my third. I mean, you tell me who's wrong. Okay, I, I'll accept that. I, I think I've accomplished more in my field than you have in yours, though you're just getting started. So, so I'm, I'm the top of my field. So I'm all pro. I'm the best, one of okay. the best 22 players in the NFL. You're, you're going to brush it off, but I don't think you're the best 22 anything in sports and in media and well, anything. I think you debatable. think more of yourself than you actually can, you know, prove. But okay. I'll, you think you're like better than Darrell like is right now? In my in my twenty four years of life, I'm better at life than you. Okay. So let's, All right, that's let's, fair. Let, let's All get right. let's get down right. well, to that. Well let's let's stay cast. let's not get personal here. I just no, want to no, know just not, just do, not you, do you this think you're better than Darrell Revis is right now? I'm better than you. So I, I have no nothing to say about him. I mean that's that's pretty much done. My numbers speak for themselves. I'm a first team All Pro. That's that. Okay. Well, answer this question for me. I want to know why you are doing what you're doing this off season. You're obviously on a campaign to do a lot of interviews, a lot of trash talk. Now you want to trash talk me, which is totally cool with me. Actually, but I'm on a what, campaign to do a lot of community service. I'm, I'm okay, LA, I know you are at your high for. school. I'm, We're going to talk about LA, that in just a minute. At your high school, but, to high school but, kids. What is your, what's your goal? What, with goal? Richard, what's your motive here? To be you, the best NFL corner in the Okay, but do you, you want to you promote yourself into a bigger name, a household name, so that you can do more commercials and maybe have your own show? Is that your goal? The first team All-Pro is my goal. I accomplished it, so... Now it's on to bigger and better things. Those are my goals. Those are always well, going to be my goals. Super Bowl is the goal. Um, Pro Bowl, things like that. Team goals, you know, we want to we win it all. And that's, that's what it comes down to. Um, I'm out here in L.A. trying to speak to kids, you know, community, just do the community service, spoke to my high well, school, spoke to Bourbon Day. But, but you always want to bring the negative side because that's who you are. You speak negatively about everybody, including LeBron, including Kobe, including everybody. Because you don't have anything positive to say about anybody. Well, I speak objectively about all those people. But that's perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. Because I understand that. I, I am intelligent enough, capable enough to understand that you are ignorant, pompous, egotistical, cretin. And that's, that's really what it comes down to. And I'm going to crush you on here in front of everybody because I'm tired of hearing about it. Uh, I, I think you're having a problem no, no, crushing me because you've avoided every question that we've asked you. About because why you're engaging your in so much trash talk with Revis pollution. and Roddy and all the others. I'm, I'm talking to you right now. This isn't about any of them. So, so let's talk here, right now. I mean, you're bringing up old well, stuff. We're not talking about that. I'm talking about right here, right now. On the screen, it says 12 picks, four forced fumbles, and two NFL seasons. Let's talk about that. You know, the, you know what's well, Rich, funny about I, I, that? I, Go Rich, ahead, Stephen. A. Yeah, I want I want to talk about it because listen, Rich, I, I I've got respect for you. I know that you can ball. So let, let let's stop all of this. And by the way, it's a great accomplishment. And in, in fairness to Skip, Skip did bring up the fact that you had graduated from Stanford and you're a highly intelligent young man. He said that months ago. So let's 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 just stick to football here. When you Please. talk about the guys that you have talked about. We know what, you, what you've what you accomplished as an individual, but what is it that you're trying to say when you, again, whether it's, a, it's, it's calling out Darrell Revis, what was the motivation behind that? Because Darrell Revis is universally recognized as arguably the best in the game at what he does. What was the motivation behind that? Well, I mean, if you read the tweet that he sent me, then you would have yeah, realized it. what the motivation was. I mean, I had no, I had no animosity, and anything to say to him before that. I had nothing at all to say. I mean, people, people asked me to do a few interviews about it, 
and that was fine. But he sent a tweet. It was a response. A lot of people take it out of context. A lot of people say, oh, he's talking trash to this guy, this guy, this guy. Well, didn't say anything after the Redskins game. I'm, I was mic'd up, so but, but you, can go re you can go listen to the mic'd but, up piece. But, I didn't say anything No, Rich, you don't White. understand. You, you don't understand what I'm asking. I'm saying to you, I, I hear where you're coming from. I wasn't knocking you for, the t for your response to the tweet. What I'm asking you, is that your way of saying you believe that you should be recognized as the best in this game at your position right now? I mean, that's, that's, why I'm, that's where I'm getting to. That, I, I believe so. I mean, that's, that's what usually with first team All-Pro, you know, means. And so, I mean, like I said before, I'll let the numbers speak for themselves, but okay. until Richard, otherwise spoken. Richard, you're not letting the numbers speak for themselves. You're speaking for Richard Sherman again and again and again. You're taking away the focus of how good you were the last two years on the field because you're only becoming known for your trash talking. Because for you're not listening. You're not actually paying I, I, attention. That's all I can do. What you I, said, I hear what you you said earlier day. today was apparent. It was obvious that you didn't watch the season. You didn't watch my tape. You, you said I'm not even in the same class, the same discussion. That, you're that not. When, that's, when you, that's when you lose credibility. That's when you lose credibility. No, I know. I gained you it. You couldn't, you couldn't argue valid points to prove that. You couldn't argue anything. You could just say it. That's an opinion. And that's why your opinion is discredited because there's no facts behind it. There are facts to everything I say. There are facts that, I, that support things I say. Explain to me your facts. I'm about listening. Darrell Revis? Uh, about, wh about what you just said He's the best thing I've seen since today, Deion Sanders, me. who was the greatest athlete I've ever seen. And I've watched you, I don't know, eight or ten times. You get to play across from another corner who's really good and in your league, and it helps you. And your front seven is really good. So it really helps you. It's made you, you're, you're in a perfect spot on one of the best defenses in football, and you've gone along for that ride, and it's been a great ride. Once again, I still haven't heard a fact yet. I've heard a lot of opinions. So I'll tell you a couple facts. I have 12 picks in 26 games. We all know in that. In 26 games, four forced fumbles in 26 games, two sacks in 26 games. Those are facts. First team All Pro. That is a fact. You have you have yet to explain to me a fact why you made the statement you made. That is why I say your opinion is discredited. That is why nobody listens to you. All right, gentlemen, we're going to have to uh, end it right here. We'll have more first take after the break. Stay with us, everyone.